Well, hello there to my Leos. Leos, the moon is in Taurus. And whenever these move, these uh, these uh, the moon moves into zodiac signs, that gives you an opportunity to really kind of slow down when it's waxing and waning, and especially during Mercury, because Mercury being retrograde, it's your time to be in receiving mode of some messages of how you send out messages to the universe and how they return, how those messages come back. So let's get into it, Leos. Let's get right into it. Let's see what's in your cards. I'm talking to you. Okay, Knight of Wands. All right, this wants to just twirl on out the deck. <laughs> so, okay, so that's Knight of Wands. The source really needs you got a lot of ideas. Source needs you to stay focused. So while you're waiting on the ideas to come in, you can also filter those too. Like whatever negative ideas come in about people, places, and things, it looks like there could be some negative ideas coming through, possibly about a, um, a Capricorn, a Virgo, or a Taurus. Or maybe another fire sign, Aries, Leo, or Sagittarius. But Source is saying to you, whenever you have negative ideas come in, you can change, change your fire, right? You can toss some things into a burning bowl and say, okay, because Source is trying to discipline somebody to stop having negative thoughts about things to a point where it just overtakes a large portion of your day. You see this eight of pentacles where all, all of a sudden you feel you almost, you land on the dark side of the number eight, right? So you succumb to passive and powerless behavior or forceful, egotistical and materialistic. You know, like sometimes you get so mad, you're so stressed out. I'm just getting ready to go shop until I drop. You shop so much that the, the strip on the back of your car doesn't even work anymore, right? So source is saying to you, Instead of letting things get to you to that degree, depending on it, it, it doesn't because it feel like it because like something having to do with family, right? So here we have four uh, swords right here. So it's just saying you can always toss some things into a burning bowl and say, okay, I need to. This is this is helping me to open up my like really my third eye increase my prayer life maybe i need to take a trip maybe i need to go on vacation maybe i need to do something else to get away from certain types of energies especially if you feel like they've gotten away with something they was a snake and they got away with something right so source is saying this is where something should have opened your third eye like okay now your third eye is like you can't unsee certain things so now i need to pay attention now i need to pay attention to some things that i didn't pay attention to before so that you don't vibrate on a low frequency. Here we have the um, four of um, pentacles. And it's further reiterating. You want to start cutting that time in half. I need, Now I'm awake. Now I, I can recognize that spirit in the workplace. I can recognize that spirit in friendships. Family relationships. Whatever. Once I have a kundalini experience. That is where my awareness needs to pop into play. Okay I need to pay attention. Something doesn't feel right. Something is off. I believe something. Even if it's not true entirely source will give when i say entirely i mean it could be they could be connected to somebody else somebody could be connected to somebody else so it's like now you need somebody is paying attention now so so it may be time to go take a trip you know kind of do some grounding here we also have right here we have the four of um pentacles so somebody is right there at the vault door vault door is a is a is a um, portal to whatever it is you've been praying for. So it's two situations in particular you've been praying for. Here we also have the Ace of Wands here. Again, like I said, third eye. So it's just saying it's time to take a leap of faith. Start paying attention to that third eye being open. I see you being booked and busy and not burdened at all. Now that you're in the light about some things, now that you've been aware of some things, it's time for you to get away from any wildfires, anything that's going to distract you from paying attention. That's what Source is trying to tell somebody. Anything that's trying to, you know, distract you from paying attention, any anxiety you're around certain people and you feel like I got getting knots in my stomach. So it's just like it's probably a good idea to stay away from them and tap into your, your intuition. Because at that point, you physically waiting to see something, to believe it. And Source needs you to believe it in the spirit sense before you see it. Source will show it to you so you can protect your energy so you don't come out looking like a snake. So here we have the star card, the eight of cups, the justice card, the strength card. We also have the temperance card, the devil card. Yeah. Um, so that you don't do an injustice to yourself. Right. And look like you got a really bad temper or something's wrong with you. Here we also have the star card so that you don't 
pull your own star out of the sky. Now, the um, we also have the devil card here. We also have the strength card here, right? We also have the eight of cups, right? So somebody has had to move on from some disappointments in your life before, but it started between the ages of eight and 14 years old, where somebody had to learn how to increase your prayer life. Maybe somebody prayed on you. Maybe somebody was bullied or, you know, um, maybe somebody favored someone else over you. Something happened where when I look at your cards, source was really trying to awaken someone to increase their prayer life. So that, sh so that source could make you alert and aware of some things, right? Um, so that you can impart that wisdom and knowledge onto other people. So this is about balance, right? So the temperance card is like balances things out. Remember, in this, the scales of justice is also about balance as well. Source is saying to you, you're very close to... Um, you're very close to something that you prayed for. Like in terms of just kind of wanting to see some things, right? I want to see some things that's going to make me pay attention from now on. So it can also, in this year, wealth can make you very wealthy too because that's what I'm seeing here. So it's just make, trying to make you financially independent. So you're going to, now that your third eye is open, it can make you aware of trends when you're um, investing. It can make you aware of like, other types of conversations like, okay, should I make this business deal? Should I pray? Should I apply for this position? Should I do this? Your third eye being open. You see things other people don't see, right? Um, who may not, who may not believe in that quote unquote kind of stuff, right? Let's see what else we got going on here. Yeah. So yeah. So that your star can continue shining bright and that you don't have to demonize anybody else you're saying okay what are my demons what are my what is my fear what is my doubt what is my those are demons fear doubt uncertainty addictions it's too many demons to name as it relates to people places and things like sometimes you don't want to see certain things like because maybe you maybe you were taught that your gifts are not valid but those gifts came from source. They didn't come from human. Like somebody could have told you, oh no, you had you had dreams at night or you, you know, those aren't real. See, turn the light on. There's no boogeyman under the bed. There's no, you know, there's no such and such and such and such. But you can't, sometimes you can't unsee certain things that you've already seen. And so source is saying to you, it's best for you to journal you know, and um, make room for more downloads to come in through your spirit instead of going into escapism. Here we also have the nine of uh, swords. Somebody has awakened from a nightmare. Seven of swords here. So uh, let me see what we got going on here. So yeah, I see you being able to defend your decision to move on from something without coming across as defensive. I definitely see um, a win for you, you know, in your cards, some kind of partnership in business and or in love. When somebody had a chance to choose the light and dark of things, there's a lot of balance here. Balance, 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 right? Balance also. Remember, um, Gemini is ruled by Mercury. Mercury is currently retrograde. So if you send out messages into the universe of certain things, remember, people catch wind of the message that you send out into the universe. So Whatever messages you send out to the universe, somebody could have sent out messages to the universe. Oh, I don't believe in my gifts. I don't believe in my, my intuition. Whatever messages you send out to the universe will be caught. Something comes, some people receive those messages. So somebody may have sent out messages into the universe that they were to some degree in survival mode you know like maybe in the workplace you had a lot of things going on in the workplace and you may have felt like you were in survival mode maybe being judged in the workplace or some kind of injustice is done to you and your family or people judging your relationship or your friendships or who you love or who you married or those kind of things somebody may not have realized they were given off the scent of i'm in fight mode and you may have thought you could turn that off, but source is saying you just need to get away. You need to get away from certain types of energy so that you can so that you can see how the energy you send out to the universe comes across to other people. 
You could have even given off the scent that you were burned out and frustrated. So when you burned out and frustrated, that also gives predatory energies. You know, people who like to prey on people's perceived weaknesses. Oh, this person is always tired and burned out and stressed out. They're they going to miss this. They're going to miss that, right? You ever had a, you know, manager or something at work is like, you know, when you may have gone through, like if you had a nightmare or something at night, you go to work and you're sitting there trying to keep your head up. You're like, okay, whew, I had a cup of coffee. That's only going to work with for so long, but I'm so exhausted. I'm so burned out. If you have a manager or somebody, whoever you report up to, who likes to prey on them, let's say they had it out for you in the beginning. Maybe they said you were never qualified or there's something about you they don't like. <laughs> They're going to prey on that very moment. So it's the same. Pay attention. Pay attention. Let's say you got friends or loved ones who they know certain things about you from your past. Maybe you've had some breakups or maybe you went through a divorce or a real trying time in your life where, you know, they will prey on that just to use it as leverage. So sources saying, you know, get from around people that at one hand, you're just confused around them. Get from around those energies, energies that like you feel inspired one minute, but then confused and drained and upset and frustrated the next. So as I say, you have enough prayer. I mean, you can pray yourself and you can ask God for clarity yourself. So, yeah, something has awakened in you. Here was this strength card came out twice. Two situations in particular, sources said your vulnerability is your strength. It's okay to go to source and pray. God, I need help. Talk about most high God, by the way. God, I need help. I need help. I need I need your strength. This is exhausting. Help me. Here we have nine of pentacles here. Right? So I feel like somebody is focusing on legacy wealth. And so that's where you're going to be putting most of your attention into your legacy. What kind of what kind of legacy do you want to build? You know, what do you want to pass down? Do you want to pass down being a prayer warrior to other people around you? Like your prayer changes things, it shifts the atmosphere. Right. So when you're in spaces where you feel like you're burned out, you can ask God in, in advance, you know, should I go into work today? Should I be around these people? Like, should I should I stay connected to certain family members? If I go around and I'm exhausted and I'm tired and I'm looking to them for support, but they're praying on something else is totally unrelated. Some people can't wait to pounce on people. Here we also have the uh, magician card. So prayer definitely changes things ahead of time. Not when you not when you under pressure ahead of time. Here we also have the Ace of Cups here. So I definitely feel like your wishes are being fulfilled. But right now, somebody is tempted to vibrate on a low frequency. And I would say, no, don't do that. Two situations in particular. Somebody is praying. Like somebody is like, okay. And, some, and so source is saying, you know, instead of you, it's time for you to start setting some very firm boundaries. That's what I'm saying. Because somebody doesn't see that one area of your life could be affecting the other side of your life. It's like somebody had an unhealthy work life. It was work life was imbalanced. Looking at your cards, it's just way too much fire in the cards. And that's the thing that this um, full moon in Libra taught everybody is you can't be everything to everybody, Leo. And then expect, you know, it, it's at some point, you're going to have to get some rest. That's your moon, right? Your moon sign. So in order for a total solar eclipse to occur, the sun, moon, and earth need to be aligned. So within us, our sun sign, our moon sign, our earth, our physical body, physical body is like, okay, I need to take some days off to process my emotions. That's the moon, right? So look up your moon sign because your moon sign is just as important as your sun sign. So if you feel burned out in one area of your life, you're leaving yourself wide open, for other areas of your life where you'll miss something. If that makes any sense. If that makes any sense to somebody. It's like if you run in, you know, burning a candle at both ends in one area of your life, you're not going to be performing at top, you know, top performance in another area of your life. And that's what Source is trying to get somebody to do is balance it out. You know, balance it out, balance it out. Increase your prayer life. God, give me the strength to you know, get off the phone with certain people. They're not talking about anything. Every time I talk to them, it's always some drama with them. So give me the strength to you hang up the phone. Give me the strength to say no to some of the invitations that's coming across my desk. Give me the strength to take off from work when I'm tired. I don't have to be there for every project that's going on, you know, killing myself. 
you know, those kind of things. So that's what Source is trying to help somebody do. And, and for certain, stay away. They could, there must be an Aries, Leo, or Sagittarius. Some something is happening where somebody's like, okay, it's somebody that has kept somebody just like burned out. Two situations in particular. Two situations in particular. Nine of Wands, Seven of Wands, the Hermit card, Queen of Cups, Ace of Pentacles, and also the Two of Pentacles. So everything, believe it or not, everything is lining up perfectly for you. Um, yeah. And, yeah. So it's just saying you and somebody coming together is financial independence for you and somebody coming together. But again, somebody is going to have to stop burning that candle at both ends, just burned out. So it's time to sit down and put that spreadsheet together. What am I giving more time to than, you know, in word, thought or deed? What am I giving? Where is the imbalance? That's what somebody's going to have to put. I mean, seriously, put together a spreadsheet. What has taken up the majority of my time? What is something that I can scale back and pray about it and give it to God and trust that God is going to handle certain things, right? Queen of Cups, so that you can start pouring into yourselves. We also have the Nine of Wands and Seven of Wands, right? So like I said before, it's two situations in particular. I feel like somebody is on the light side of things and trying real hard not to go back not to go back into possibly some stressful situations that source is saying stay as far away from as fast as you can so nine eight yeah eight eight so yeah so what Source is trying to do is help fast track somebody. Source is trying to fast track you, but the temptation is very real looking at your cards here. Like somebody is really tempted to, it's like a, a bait and switch in your spirit, right? So every time your demons rise up of fear, doubt, uncertainty, which when Mercury is retrograde, it feels like communication is slower. Like, okay, I've been waiting on a phone call. I've been waiting on this. I've been waiting on that. But it gives that illusion because planets don't move backwards and they don't move at a slower pace. So you have to slow down and be careful of the energy, your, the messages that you're sending out to the universe because that's that word doesn't come back void. It's going to come back, but it's going to come back, you know, with some clarity, with some clear answers for you. So we have you and somebody, five, six. You and somebody are building a legacy together. So I guess legacy wealth, right? So the way that you arrive at this legacy may be significantly different because they have a side of the family. You had a side. You have a side of the family. So you being right there at your vault door, you have to decide what your fear, doubt, anxiety, uncertainty, impatience, um, What are your feelings of lack? What is that about? That's something that Source wants you to... That's an area that Source wants you to strengthen. Yeah. Here are the questions for the moon and Taurus. Here are the questions for the moon and Taurus. First question is, how often do you feel true pleasure? Second question is, do you feel guilty about pursuing pleasure? Third question is, where are the energy blockages and places of tension located in your body? The, the, la the fourth question is, can you discern how your body says yes to some things and no to others? And then what does your body need? Yeah, the majority of what I'm looking at here is like somebody is burning up a lot of time. And that's what your body does not need. It doesn't need the stress, right? Taurus is a, a divine feminine sign and is ruled by Venus. Like uh, Libra is ruled by Venus, but they rule it a different way. So what last cycle taught all of us is like, you know, since Libra is the peacemaker sign, we're not talking about any Libras that you know, whether you like them or don't like them. So peacemaker sign is that I feel like somebody would rather get along with people than fight people. You would rather get along. But at what point are you doing yourself an injustice if you're missing things, if it's not a healthy work-life balance, right? So on one hand, you could feel like, okay, 
I want my family to like my choices in love interest, choice in job, choice in whatever preference I choose. But if going around them is exhausting me when I'm looking for a warm flame and I'm looking for, but instead I'm just getting even more confused and exhausted and frustrated, then I need to make some decisions. We're in a whole new cycle now. And so it's a super new you. What does that look like? you know, for you in order for your star to continue to shine bright and you can continue inspiring and motivating people and investing time into people. Sometimes it just looks like getting away from those, you know, types of energies. You have the gift of clairvoyance. You see things very clearly. You see things very, very clearly. So for those of you all who want to be in a partnership in business and in love, it's here. So... Drink more water. It's a form of self-care. Somebody secretly has a crush on you. I mean, if you're dealing with secrets, but I don't think you are. That's exhausting. Um, yeah. Um, somebody and somebody else wants the best for you. That's the thing about inspiring people. It can almost be 50-50. Some people catch on to that flame and they go, okay, I'm so inspired by Leo. That's just, you know, and they genuinely want the best for you. And so it's hard to tell who wants the best for you and who's intentionally trying to prey on your perceived weaknesses when you are in balance within. When you just, I got to always, I got to always rise to the occasion. I always got to be the strong one. I always got to be the so on and so on and so forth. So it's like, no, actually you want to, here we have, you have the gift of clairsentience, pick up on others' vibrations, their emotions, their moods, their feelings. So it's the same. When you pick up on a vibe or vibration that... This is exhausting. Start scaling back and, you know, trying to see if there's a change when you scale back. Because that's also a message that you're sending them to. Okay, I'm trying to, I'm kind of drained here. You know, y'all got too much commotion going on at these family events. And I'm just trying to kick back and relax. And every time I turn around, there's always something. I'm breaking up an argument, a fight, somebody accusing somebody, gossip. It's a bunch of stuff going on. This is just draining after a while. So something is going on where somebody is feeling like, okay, I need to stay away from just, I just need to stay away from certain types of energies. I just, I need to stay away. I need to start firing up that burning bowl. And that's what I see you doing, firing it up. Clarity. I am clear on my purpose, period. I am here for a reason. I am worthy. I am valuable. I own my truth. I am moving forward in the right direction. I know exactly what I need to do. I take action towards the things that matter. Yeah. So with all this fire here, in order for a fire to start, there needs to be some friction, right? So source is saying you'd rather have a warm bonfire conversation that's clear and concise than it's just everything just go up in flames. Everybody's confused. Everybody's running, you know, out of a, a wildfire and trying to get to safety. That's just too much. That's just, it's exhausting just to even think about. I always got to be somewhere. I always got to, yeah. So anyway, trust. Allow me divine to give you my deepest longings, trusting you to know exactly how to handle them. Let's see what the number is. So that you can put this fire into building a legacy you know, 17, I am independent. So the quality of work that you can produce when, when you're going at it alone is almost unbelievable. You are as independent as you are ambitious, capable of performing every step of the way with efficiency, focus, and skill, 17. All right, that's what I have for you all, Leos. Like I said, protect your energy so that you don't exhaust yourselves and so you don't miss anything. And I'll see you in the next reading. Bye.